Sudan was an empty space when we arrived there in, in terms of arts. There was, of course, the talent was there, but it was never really like encouraged and, and supported. War was more important, violence was more important. And if I look back on that five years, we have been working there, what has been happening, like producing the first music videos in Sudan, producing the first acted movies in local language, the posters, and always the aim to really build the capacity of the local youth that they can carry out that activities and produce artistic materials and disseminate it um, themselves so that they would not need us anymore. It was uh, totally different to shoot uh, a film in Sudan like somewhere else. So Normally uh, you have a script and you have dialogues and you talk with your actors about a scene and about the angles you shoot. And uh, I tried to do this in Sudan, but the people don't really understand why we have to shoot a dialogue three times. They only thought, yeah, we did it one time, and so it has to be in the camera. But that was very funny, and I always try to explain, but we need that footage. We have to do it again and again. We have to do it from this angle, and we have to do it from that angle. So we decided more to, to shoot uh, the film on a different way, to shoot lively and we used more total shots. The content and the form was developed together with the youth. Um, and it was revolving around issues like HIV AIDS, peaceful reintegration, gender-based violence. Especially if you talk about sensitive issues and you would do it in a normal drama, people would associate those people with the role they play. And that's a great advantage of, of puppetry drama because you don't see the actual people. You rather see the puppets who, who portray that person. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of made the thing not as realistic and if you think that there are a lot of traumatized people and a lot of violence has been going on, I, I think it's quite an artistic approach actually. <laughs> For me it was very funny to work with those guys because um, they only use steps 1, 5 and 7 which sounds like this. For the musicians, if they don't know how to play um, keyboards or whatever, it's quite easy just to, to get to know these tunes and to focus on them and then go a little bit further, but the start is very easy. One has to know the background that um, up to that time there was no single recording studio in, in Sudan, so most of the musicians went, for example, to, to Uganda to record music. Basti himself, he's a sound engineer and a musician himself, so one can imagine how his first visit to Sudan has pushed the local music production. <laughs> It was funny that nobody had any love songs, like most musicians here they write a lot about love, but most of the lyrics they had they were just about, yeah, about social change, about peace, about um, making things better. And also for ourselves it was a great learning experience working with with these young artists who are so committed and eager to contribute positively towards social change in, in a conflict shaken region. The stories came from the people 
and we talked what's the scene about and maybe it was two sentences and we tried to shoot and then they talked and talked and talked. It, it was sometimes five minutes, they talked and talked and talked. I didn't understand and after we have finished this take, I asked, but what's all about? And then they said, yeah, it's only these two sentences. The problem was to edit that. I said, we have to, we have to make a cut here or here or here. And they said, no, 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 it's very important. It's very important, but it's only these two sentences. So, but when we first screened the, the film, the, the people are laughing and laughing. Yeah, it's great to see that uh, people use film to express themselves. And that is really encouraging a lot, us a lot, to continue our work and giving young people the skills, the artistic skills to, yeah, exchange their perspective. <laughs> Stima was the first woman we were working with and we developed this song called um, Kaju. It's about gender violence and about oppression of, of women. I think it wasn't always easy for her to, to just say what she wanted to say because this is a very sensitive issue in Sudan. <laughs> Just to see that she's now going to Khartoum, playing concerts, winning contests and just uh, addressing her opinion to such a big audience and I think this is a great success for us and for her. Looking back at all this, I'm, I'm more convinced than ever that art is a great tool to promote unity and diversity and through that lead to a peaceful coexistence of people. Therefore, we want to continue to build the artistic skills of people and through that contribute to, a, to our common aspirations for a positive social change around the world.